Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be trying out an anti-highlighter. Now I say anti-highlighter because that is what it has been called by many, many articles. Articles have been calling it the anti-highlighter that matches your cold, dark soul, a new black highlighter that matches your cold, dark soul. So this is the product that everyone's been talking about. So it is an inner glow cream pigment in the color Eclipse by Rituel de Fil. I don't know why I went like, kind of Italian-esque at the end. It's a French name, I'm pretty sure. I took Spanish throughout school, so like I do not know how to pronounce any cosmetic names that are in French. They just all go over my head. According to Google, this is how you actually say it. Rituel de fille. So I was completely wrong. People kept using the word highlighter to describe this product. This black cream highlighter is the perfect product for makeup wearers who don't like shimmer. But what about your black highlighter? The black highlighter of your goth dreams. So I'm gonna try and use this in the way I would use my normal highlighter. There are also instructions on the brand's websites as to recommendations of how to actually use it. So I'm gonna also try their directions afterwards. I just wanna see why everyone was calling it a highlighter. I'm being incredibly extra and wearing my choker from Halloween, my Morticia Adams choker, because I felt like if they were bringing the darkness, I wanted to also bring the darkness. Also bringing the darkness here today are my string lights. There's one string that's just out. I'm very sad about it, um, but clearly they also dress for the occasion because there's less light in here than usual. All right, here we go. Ooh. On my finger, it looks like a really dark, purple gloss. Let me put it on my arm. On camera, it looks kind of brownish. It also looks like a bruise. So when I usually put highlighter on, I usually put highlighter on like a little bit right here. Sometimes a dab on the nose, almost always under my brow bone and then definitely like right here on the cheekbone. So I'm gonna start with like under my brow bone. The funny thing is at first when I put it on, it looks just like, like soot, and then as I rub it in, it almost disappears. Is it giving me a highlighted effect? No, but on the blend, if I blend it out a little bit, it's like, oh. I don't really know exactly what that's about, but on the side that I blended it out, it is just kind of like a shadowy, it's kind of Morticia-esque, but it looks kind of good under my brow bone. Putting it somewhere where you would put highlighter, you could wear it there, I think. I don't think it looks crazy. So next up, I'm gonna put it on my cheekbone. Clearly that didn't that didn't work out for me. It's just like a it's a skid mark. It's a it's a dark demony skid mark. Glowing. After a few bounces, it's kind of becoming something. I don't know that it even looks like witchy and fun. I think it kind of just looks like I smudged something. There is a glossiness to it, so it does kind of reflect a little bit if I just move my head around like this forever. I'm gonna do it on the other side too, just so we can have a full face, full face of anti-highlight. This side actually looks a bit, little bit better, but both sides, like at the ends, it's getting stuck in my little cheek hairs. Look, I look like Dick Van Dyke from Mary Poppins, just dancing on a roof in London. Okay, so the next place I would put highlighter would be my nose the tip of my nose like this. That just made me look like a cat or reindeer, like a, a very, very uncommitted Halloween costume. I'm a mouse, duh. The thing is like, I am into it on my eyes. Like I actually do like it there. And then we got down to the middle of the face and it was just like, where it's used as a highlighter right now, it doesn't really make any sense. The last place I would put highlight is like right in my cupid's bow. So. Let's put some right there. Yeah, it kind of just looks like I, I shaved my mustache but forgot the Cupid's bow. And that's not necessarily the look I'm going for. So I don't know about that one, you guys. To be fair, he didn't call it the anti-highlighter. They're just like, this is just a cool cream pigment that you can use. And people were like, aha, an anti-highlighter. They say that Eclipse is a black blush, contour, cream eyeshadow, and lipstick. So that's what it's supposed to be. I guess by anti-highlight, maybe you could mean that it's supposed to be literally everything except the highlight, but that was not clear. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow. I'm just going in with my finger. That's kind of cool. All right, so this is what it looks like as an eyeshadow. I do have eyeshadow primer under here. It does have that kind of weird sister vibe to it. They say you can use it as blush and contour, so I don't really know what else to use with this for contour except for my finger, and then I'll blend it out with the Beauty Blender. Oh, those are not even on both sides. Oops, eh, whatever. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender and just try and... Actually, 
It kind of works. Okay, this side I'm doing a worse job on. How is that? My left side is struggling today, you guys. I didn't execute this that well, but this is like the Maleficent look. This is the dark look they were talking about. And it's kind of cool. I don't think it's like an everyday look, but it could be an every night look. Meh, 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 meh. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do with the cheek, with a with a blush. Did I ruin it already? Okay, I'm not sure about this one. I guess if you put it on like super, super sheer, maybe you can just get the purple out of it. But this time the left side did way better. I don't know, what, what did I do to my right side now? I don't know if I would use it as, as blush, but like I think I understand it a little bit more than just like the highlight right here. So the last thing that it says it can do is be a lipstick. I've been wanting to put this on my lips. Not on my Cupid's bow, like a little red butler mustache, but on my lips. <laughs> oh, yes. I had to work it into my waterline to make sure the butthole was covered. It's covered a little bit better now. It's a really interesting blotted look. I'm into it. It is kind of moving around my lips, so I'm trying to put it back on so it doesn't go anywhere. Does this make sense as a lip color? Yeah. I like this as a lip color. In fact, as I'm looking at everything, like the blush has kind of settled in a little bit more. It kind of makes sense. So I think that like you can use this for the things that it says you can use it for. Is this thing a black highlighter? In my opinion, no. Um, is this thing the anti-highlighter? Only in that like a product that is not highlighter could be anti-highlighter. I actually think that referring to this as a highlighter is pretty confusing. Of course, calling it the anti-highlighter could be getting more people to talk about it, but if you're talking about it and titling it in a headline in a way that's just confusing, the buzz might be working against it. Cause I think it's kind of a cool product that has a cool effect, but an anti-highlighter, it is not. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this product in the comments below, if you think it is actually a highlighter and I'm just crazy. If you like this video, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. And if you've already shamashed that subscribe button, be sure to smash the bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. A big shout out to Logan for watching. Thanks for watching Logan. And I will see you guys a next time.